What's up everybody, this is Frank with Anabolic Outlaws, AO Nutrition, and today I'm gonna to talk about how to look good after 35 and why it's important, all right? I'm gonna tell you guys right now, and this is speaking from a man's perspective. After 35, here's what I've noticed has happened. There's the guys that didn't give a shit about what they look like, and obviously at this point, they don't look 35, they look like they're about 45. And then there's the guys that actually did care about what they look like and did keep themselves in shape. And obviously, they're gonna be benefiting from this big time, all right? Because some of the things that are gonna happen is you're gonna start getting more attention from women, okay? Especially younger women, because once you hit a certain age, if you're over, if you, if you look good after that certain age, your stock is gonna go up big time. So this is very, very important. Okay, I don't care if you're married, I don't care if you're single, because I've talked to a shitload of old guys and they, the consensus is the same and I'm starting to notice it now. Your life is gonna get a whole lot better if you can get your shit together and make sure you look as good as possible after 35. Well, even into your 50s, you can be slaying young ass, you can look good. I mean, fuck, you look at some of these actors that are in their 40s and they're still murdering, you know, their girlfriend's 10 years younger than them. Or if they got a wife, she sure as shit ain't going nowhere because they know that they've got other options because that's another thing you got to remember over time. If you let yourself go, obviously, you know, mama's going to be looking at, uh, she's going to be looking at other people. So you want to make damn sure that you have your shit together. That's why this shit is so important. And you will be able to definitely benefit from it myself okay I was driving down the road okay and I've, and I've and I've always tried to keep myself somewhat youthful looking I know I'm not the best looking guy I know I'm not I'm not sitting here trying to toot my own horn but I had a car full of 23 year old girls tell me that they wanted to have my baby a couple weeks ago and I'm thinking to myself like you're as old enough to be my daughter almost but I tell you what it felt pretty good to hear and you're definitely gonna want to hear that shit because hypothetically if my old lady wanted to tell me to go fuck myself, obviously I would be able to get up on the bandwagon and be able to get in there and find somebody else. Because that's important. I don't care who you are. Everybody wants to have some type of companion. Everybody wants to get attention from hot chicks. That's just the way the world is, man. And if you can get yourself squared away by doing these simple things, okay? You want to make sure you have some type of testosterone regimen at this point because if you're over 35, your body is definitely going to be depleting its testosterone. You don't have the same amount of testosterone at 35 as you do at 25 and it's going to show, okay? You want to make sure that when it's time to, you know, when it's bedtime, you want to make sure that you can murder that ass and you don't want to sit there with a wet noodle and not be able to take care of business because that's not going to work out very well. Testosterone is going to help you with that or a pro hormone, some type of a synthetic hormone that's going to be able to get you back to where you need to be because let's face it, I don't want to look average. I don't want to fuck average. I don't want to do anything average. Nobody does, obviously. If you look on social media, as I've said a thousand times, everybody's a movie star. Everyone's a millionaire, okay? So obviously, I want that to be me, you know? And I'm sure you guys feel the same way. So what you want to do, get your diet squared away. I've been doing this keto thing, and I finally got some stomach definition. I can tell you right now, for 38, I'm feeling pretty damn good about myself. It helps me in, my, in the way I, when I'm working, it helps me when I'm in the bedroom because I know I'm taking care of business properly and it overall made my life a hell of a lot better, okay? I know everyone's got different situations like if, you know, if you're bald or something like that, shave your head or you know, get that tattoo thing, that looks sick, you know, fire the beard, you know, you get the tattoo and it'll make it look like you've got like stubble up there. I've seen a couple dudes have that and you cannot fucking tell the difference. It looks fucking money especially if you got a beard with it or you know if you got the gray hairs coming I mean for me I dye my shit but you know obviously make it look right you know put some effort in, into that and I can tell you what it will go a long way and the guys who are already doing that shit they already know because they're experiencing it right now I'm sure like when they get on the dating sites and shit like that it, instead of instead of like when when girls are in their 20s they're getting bombarded with a bunch of dudes when you get older, it flips the other way because just the way it is, a guy over 35, more times than not, is gonna be more marketable than a woman over 35. So if you are open to dating women your own age and you can deal with kids and shit like that, well then hell, you're gonna have a smorgasbord happening right there too. So if you guys have any questions, please feel free to call us. I just wanted to throw that public service message out there because I've been doing some research on this shit 
And I can tell you right now, it's 100% true. Some of your best years are gonna come after 35, so make sure you can take advantage of them by looking good. Have a good one, late.